I want to bring in David Barnson on this one uh, because uh, David covers the markets extensively. And I wonder if he's got an opinion on investing in Chinese stocks. Yes or no, David? Well, we don't, for the very reasons you talk about, we're afraid to go to places that lack rule of law. Yep. I certainly agree that there's a crackdown on market freedoms in China that's very concerning. But the whole time you were talking, Stuart, I was thinking about how some of those things marginally to a less degree are happening in the United States, too. Oof. So I'm not as concerned about what they're doing over there as I am us protecting our own free enterprise system. Mm. And, you know, you're right. They can crack down a whole system out there where we just sort of regulate it. Yeah. But like what they've done to Jack Ma and we sort of demonize our big business leaders and entrepreneurs. I'm more concerned with our own backyard. So the, I'm sorry for my long answer, but no. no, we want to be in a place where there's freedom when it comes to equities and free enterprise, growth investing, dividends, those things. Mm -hmm. But I'm really concerned that America stay on the right trajectory, which is in our DNA. Got it. Now, talk to me about Chevron, because you like stocks where the dividend is strong and growing. You picked on Chevron today. What's the dividend? What's the prospects? It's five and a half percent and the stock right now is sitting around a hundred dollars. So it's way off of its lows from COVID, but still 25, 30 percent lower than highs. So there's plenty of upside. The company is stronger, not weaker than it was before COVID because there's less competition out there. And they kept the dividend going all through COVID. They've lowered expenses. They have more free cash flow. That dividend's going higher. And so is Chevron. Uh, Leon Del Basil. I'm not sure what they do, but tell me what the dividend plays. Uh, Leon Del Basel is also over a 5% dividend. It's an incredible company that went originally gone bankrupt out of the financial crisis, rebuilt, and has just been a very strong company uh, that is in the chemicals and plastic space. Oh. But see, they're using natural gas liquids as kind of the foundation of their, what they're doing. So it is a really powerful company in terms of making products that a lot of us know about but don't know that Lyondell's involved in it. Mm. However, they're a great dividend grower, dividend payer, and I believe one of the most underrated companies in our portfolio. Which, can you, do you, can you, you got 20 seconds. Tell me the dividend yield on 3M. 3M right now is about 3.4%. Mm. They've grown the dividend for literally 100 years. It's one of those classic okay. dividend payers. I only have 20 seconds. Yep. They make scotch tape and things like oh, yeah. that, industrials, yeah. uh, consumer products, 3M, great dividend grower, and it's down a little. So that's why we like buying on weakness. Fascinating information, and we like it. David, thank you very much, sir. See you again soon.